the meeting here at ASCO 2016, for the first time we have some of the uh, maturing data from the initial studies looking at immune checkpoint inhibitors for brain cancer patients, specifically those with the most deadly and difficult uh, type of brain cancer to treat glioblastoma. Um, there are two major um, studies that are, have preliminary results presented at this meeting. The first is a study of recurrent glioblastoma patients treated with nivolumab or the combination of nivolumab and ipilimumab. Uh, in this study, patients at first recurrence were randomized uh, to receive either the single agent or combination. And the initial um, dosing schedule involved the, uh, what had been initially recommended for the ipilimumab dosing of 3 milligrams per kilogram, uh, along with a standard dosing of nivolumab at 1 milligram per kilogram. Similar to other types of cancers, the experience in glioblastoma patients was that patients on the combination treatment with that initial dosing schedule had a fair amount of significant grade 3 and grade 4 toxicities. So with that experience, the study was amended, and what we've updated and presented here at ASCO 2016 is the experience of an additional 20 patients treated with an adjusted dosing schedule, where the nivolumab was increased to 3 milligrams per kilogram, and the ipilimumab was decreased to 1 milligram per kilogram. That same modified dosing schedule has been used in many other cancer indications since that time. And what we uh, showed at this uh, meeting uh, with the mature data now looking at the outcome of these 20 patients is that the safety profile of the adjusted dosing schedule was much improved. In fact, it's quite comparable to that of nivolumab when used as a single agent or monotherapy.